Hi everyone, this is Shanti bringing you another episode of Shanti Finance. Today I am going to present you a painting for Memorial Day and I'm going to attempt to paint the American flag in a dramatic sunset sky and a soldier and his horse in the silhouette. For um I'm going to paint with oil paints today and uh, this outline drawing is available on my Pinterest account and I'll have the traceable linked in the video description below so you can access that as well. So you can see that that very beginning of the painting I'm painting the top part of the sky in a very bright blue color. I am using cobalt blue, prussian blue, less of prussian blue more of cobalt blue and cerulean blue and a bit of halo blue mixed together with white on the top part and on the bottom part i am actually mixing a lot of permanent rose and using a little bit of purple along with it you can just use permanent rose mixed with a little bit of any of the blue and that will create your purple too in the middle area i'm adding a little bit layer of uh, kind of like an titanium uh, unbleached titanium white mixed with a tiny bit of yellow now you can see me using a rag and what i'm doing is i'm removing the paint that is on the surface of the uh, canvas panel by the way i'm using a centurion a linen canvas panel here so i'm removing the paint with a rag so that there is very little paint almost nothing available uh, left on the surface that's because i want to put some additional colors that are kind of a little bit yellowish on those areas where there are blue and blue and yellow if they mix together they will make yeah um they will make green i don't want any green in this sky so i removed the blue as much as possible before i added that like yellow tinge with the white actually it has to be white but to make it a little bit more realistic and dramatic i added a little bit yellow to it it to the white and that's why i removed a lot of the previous paint and another reason i'm removing this paint at different areas is because if i try to add lighter colored paint on top of darker color paint and if i scrub them in they'll mix together and it's highly likely that you will create a muddy mix of colors a very dull brown color instead of the bright colors that you're actually looking forward in this american sky or american flag like looking sky so i'm removing all the paint at the bottom and painting in some oranges some light beige colors some kind of like skin tones and all all of that beautiful pretty colors in there and you don't have to have a specific color just because you're removing a lot of colors from the back or that were already there the permanent rose which is kind of like a magenta just because you're removing those colors and adding some new colors they'll create very nice bright colors it's just that you have to remove a lot of colors before adding new colors so that you don't make mud instead so i'll continue that process for quite a while till i kind of map out my color so the idea is to make the left corner bright blue and kind of bring it that bring that down to the right side as well and the bottom from the bottom to the top i'll kind of alternate magenta colors which kind of symbolizes the red stripes and white and yellow and orange that symbolizes the white stripes of the flag so that's where i am going it won't didn't end up turning like an exact american sky um that's because uh, i'm i'm sorry that like an exact american flag and that's kind of obvious because the sky cannot exactly look like the flag that would not make it look very realistic i still wanted the look of a sky so i'm just adding in the colors that are there and kind of representational um way of doing the sky or doing the american flag and uh, i have been planning to do this for a very long time just didn't know how to approach this and then i finally put up some courage and thought okay let me give this a try and i think it worked out really well in the end but i'll let you guys judge and let me know in the comments below of course that whether you think this is a nice good representation of the american flag or not because 
your value the viewers value opinion counts a lot yeah um, as an artist i can feel very happy about what i created but it it ultimately the viewers view that also makes a lot of difference so i'd like to know what you think about it does it kind of represent the american flag or not but do is de- whether it does to you or not that's where i was going with this memorial day themed painting kind of uh wanted to pay my homage to the soldiers from different ages and generations that have protected the common people our fellow soldiers and just what memorial day is all about that was where i was going so you here, here you can see i'm just adding some bright yellows and white along the edges the whole idea or in the painting in the whole painting you will see that the top edge of the clouds i'm always making them giving them lot of bright colors like sharp whites or oranges or yellows while at the bottom side i'm kind of obscuring that i'm not keeping those sharp colors kind of blending them back into the background that's the general way um i am going to follow through in the entire painting top very sharp edges bottom uh kind of blend it with the background that's the that's the rule of thumb i'm going to follow through in the entire painting so now i'm adding some more bright oranges at the bottom and then coming back with some reds and the edges that kind of at the very end it ended up looking like very bright cotton candy clouds as well and and that kind of that that's what i like best about this painting the brightness of the sky it was it's such a nice mix of uh, realism at the same time surrealism because they're very bright and beautiful colors all around uh the that that's what made me very happy in the end of the painting however it does take a little bit time uh, it took me a couple of hours to get all of that colors put together and perfected blending in and out but this is oil paint so it blends wonderfully you can keep blending and blending and blending as long as you want to it doesn't dry out like acrylic paints would although you can make the very same painting with acrylic paints as well just that you will either have to use a retarder or uh, you will have to keep on spraying water or you have to keep it wet for a longer amount of time whatever be your tool in that case but in case of oil paints it stays dry for such a long or uh, stays wet moist for such a long time that you can blend and blend and blend as much as you want just that you have to be a little bit careful that you do not create mud by blending over blending that does happen a lot with oil painting so if you're new to oil painting yeah go on and blend your heart away but just be a little bit careful what color you're putting on top of what color because that will tend to um determine whether you're going to create nice blends or a lot of mud so that's what i'm doing right now adding some bright layers of uh, white or rather kind of like a beige colors clouds in between the magenta clouds and blue clouds so kind of bringing in all the different colors that you see in the american flag together now i'm adding some stars in the blue area just like the flag has stars in the blue area and no i am not um adding as many number of stars as there should be in the flag because it's kind of representational so you probably understand where i'm going with it so after i added the little dots i kind of criss cross them to kind of make it look like a twinkle and then added a little bit of bright paint at the center you can just go with tiny dots here and there that would look fine as well so don't worry about going too much into details and um, one thing i'd like to mention is that those white dots that i created they're they're not actually white i initially started with little yellow orange dots and then i added white on top of that now to finish the painting at the end i'm going to add uh, like a dark silhouette to the soldier's body and the horse body now a lot of 
people when they paint silhouettes they paint with straight up black i tend to avoid doing that because bright black is a very dulling color in fact this mix of blue and purple that i'm using just because they're very very dark colors almost black it's it's still looking pretty dull at this point so you'll have to kind of blend it out a little bit and make sure that this bottom part is not too much so that it does not look too dull now i'm switching on to a smaller brush uh, it's a number two round brush to sharpen up the edges of my silhouette just to create all that weaponry the hat of the soldier the snout and ears of the horse the legs so that it's kind of like sharp edges and not kind of like a blur and you will see that i am leaving some whites around while i'm creating this sharp edges so i'll come back with another paint brush which is now absolutely fresh doesn't have any paint on it and kind of paint around the silhouette and try to blend in with the background color you have to be very careful at this stage because you you might end up picking up a little bit of the silhouette colors which are still wet of course and uh, create some muddy mix so be a little careful do it give a little time to this and then add a little bit of effect of grass around it you can do tall grass or you can do very tiny short grass like i'm doing whatever your heart pleases whatever you think would look good in this area and that's pretty much it to this painting it, it is nothing difficult nothing dramatic nothing that you have to draw whatever little bit of drawing is required i'm already having a traceable linked in the video description below so you don't have have to draw you can just trace out the silhouette and rest is just take a little bit of time and paint in the clouds in fact if you don't want it to be like a memorial day uh, painting you can do a different uh, different colors of clouds and just paint cotton candy clouds with any kind of silhouette that you want and it will still look good so that's all to this painting for today i hope you enjoyed this painting and the tutorial if you did do not forget to give me a thumbs up because that means that me the whole world to me that motivates me to, and that's a that's that and do not forget to subscribe of course if you are not already subscribed and that with that i'd say hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell because unless you hit the notification bell you will not be notified each time i post a new videos which is typically on wednesdays and fridays so until next time have a good memorial day it's it's still a week away from memorial day but until next time see you